welcome again to my youtube channel so today it's a tutorial on how you can create a whatsapp board to take the parts so today it's simple so i won't waste much of your time okay so today we'll be creating folders right yeah folders so it's also the same thing but a little bit different on how you can take it click the three doors again as we have been doing on the other part and create no file okay this is how it is after i create a new file today's file will be functions for your board so that it will work for now and for that we will be creating the lib folder okay and just put like anything like readme with md I just you can put any name there it doesn't matter anyway but just put the read me so that it will be easy, easy easy for you to understand and after that i'll commit the changes again okay in the lib folder right now we are in the lib folder we don't go back right we are still in the lib folder actually in the lib folder we'll create a new file right now we are creating a file not a folder as you can see, light md lib, we're in the lib. So we just have to create a new file that would be msg right dot j yes. after that you go to msg in the telegram there again in my telegram channel. Yeah, just copy it as it is. It. After I copy it, you just came and paste it again. These functions are necessary for your bot to run, otherwise, without them, your bot won't run. I mean, in this framework, but I don't know other frameworks, okay? So, after that, you just have to create another, you just have to commit changes and save okay we are still in the lib again after in the lib we click on create on the three doors to create a new file again okay in this today in this we create the function to js okay after that you go to your function to js in the function sorry anyway it's like that right you copy again take note of the spellings of the file that i have been uploaded in my git of the files that have been uploaded take note of the name because if any silly mistake if the file won't respond like the board won't respond it will keep on to fix that error so after this commit the changes again Okay. Okay. That's how it is, and after this, I think that's all in this folder. And you can just click on the code to instantly go back. You can create it, or you can create back back, but just click on the code to instantly go back. As you can see, it's being more like a bot that you usually know, right? Interesting, right? So after that, we'll be creating another folder for sessions. Like if you wanna use, if you want your bot to run using Chris Johnson's those Chris Johnson files, that one. But yeah, it just, it's necessary because we um, create a new file again. It's a folder this time we're creating. When the folder creation, right? Sorry, after that, small letter sessions. Okay. After creating session, load this arrow again. Okay. After this, you can create like a readme again and type anyway.
Okay, that's it. That's all. And we commit the changes again. Always commit changes. Otherwise, there's nothing that will go back to that one. I think that's all in this folder. After that, we'll, we click on the code here again. To the entry, go back. Okay. As you can see, things are becoming a little bit more interesting as you can see. After that, we'll be creating the data folder. The data folders in those, those auto replies, right? Yeah, it's the one that will be in those auto replies, auto voice, auto sticker. So again, we'll create a new file. Okay. Uh, I've been taking like I, I took some of the auto replies from the most known bodies like Assist, uh, Cam, Sunbox, Sub Zero. I just took them. They, there's no way I can make them all that. Okay, because I specialize in making my custom for my own boy. So most of my my stickers and auto voice they took. It's like they reply to my WhatsApp bot, like this name from WhatsApp bot, so it won't be good for you to put in there. So after that, just create another folder called that. Okay. And you read more, read me again. Just commit the changes, it doesn't matter. You can put anything down there or just commit the changes. So we ended. Oh. After that, we will be creating a new file called Auto Voice Dot JS. Just put your auto voice file in the data. Okay. It's just one. After that, you just copy. Okay. After that, you can just put the main, just copy and paste the year. The insertion. Okay. After that, the JSON. Not JS, not it's JSON, not JS. Okay, it's the same thing, but friends, I need from text right now. Okay, after that, just call me the changes again, and we create another file, not folder file, which will end with the auto reply messages okay and go to auto reply Johnson file yeah I just copy everything like copy sorry select everything you have to copy everything you just select all and copy and after that, you just have to paste it here. Okay? Yeah, I'm a bot. Bot name, you put like, I'm light. And that's the name of my bot. And for yours, you can have to put like, the name of your bot. Okay. After that, you commit the changes again. We can see after that you create another file which one do, which handles the stickers the auto stickers there auto sticker just one okay and go to your auto just one file and uh, Photo sticker just so after that you just have to like to copy everything. Just copy. 
whenever you copy you can just come and paste them there as i said i took most of these in other boards so developers i'm sorry for that one i know and after that you can just commit the changes again okay almost it's like we are on two quarter all right out of four right this is the like on two quarter of four after that guys that's all for today's tutorial okay as you can see we have forward as data lib and sessions and some okay so that's all for today's tutorial wait for the next tutorial